Hello everyone and welcome back. So this is Sarah's Creative Solutions by Backyard Art and I'm Sarah. Hello! And this is part two of the Robin Bird in Flight sculpture details. So here I'm using a trimming tool. It's like a triangle shaped one. You can buy different shapes in these. And all I'm doing is just using the very corner just to take away a little bit and then using a soft brush just to take away any of the little bits that seem to uh, want to stick to the surface. And um, it's giving it a very good feather effect. So I'm going to do this all over the body, except for the very ends of the wings. And then I'm going to use a, a leather hole cutting tool to give me a half moon shape uh, for the details of the feathers. If you're interested in trying to build this sculpture yourself, I'll make sure that I put the link in the video description below. So this is that leather hole punching tool I was telling you about. I purchased these on eBay and the link for these is available on my Facebook page, which is called Backyard Art. So if you want to check that out or if you would like me to send you the link, just message me privately and I'll do so. So I'm going to use this tool just around the neck, as you can see, but also where the feather down meets the large feathers on the wings. And now I'm using a round trimming tool, just so I can get underneath the neck there, because it's very difficult to use that hole punching tool at that angle, but this one's a little bit easier. I'm not going to go all the way around, but I'm just going to sort of highlight where the neck would finish. So I do recommend that you print off a picture of a robin if you're going to add any detail to your sculpture and that way it'll give you a vocal point, something to focus on and also enable you to get the shape of the beak right and where the eyes are positioned and things like that. And also remember when you're doing the detail on the body, make sure that you have the direction of the feathers that would be. So that is why it's really good to have a look at a photograph. All the tools and links that are available for this template, including my shop link and social media, will be in the video description below. If you don't know how to find the video description, then you can email me on backyardartsd at outlook.com and I can send you the relevant information through email.
As you see here now, I'm using that leather hole punching tool again just to highlight where the feather down meets onto the main feathers. And it works quite well. And like I say, if you would like the link, just message me or go on my Facebook page and you'll see all the tools there that I've purchased recently. Now I'm adding on the uh, feather, big feather detail. I'm using that flat, thin spatula there. It's very, very sharp and fine. So I'm just using that to draw the lines onto the individual feathers and making sure I fan out on the end of each one so it looks right. You don't have to do it this way. You could use underglaze pencils if you wanted to once you come to glaze. But that's how I did it. It just gives it a little bit of a textured surface so if I wanted to rub in oxides or anything like that it would highlight that detail. So now I'm adding the eyelid for the a bird's eye. I've used a eyeball stamp to give my bird a bit more prominent eyeball but you could just roll up a little bit of clay and add it to the area that we've marked out on the template. So here I'm using an orange wood stick and that just means that I can get in there and give it a bit of a texture so it matches with the rest of the bird's head, give it a feather effect and it works quite effectively. So there we have it. So that's bird in flight complete. There's the hole to wall mount. It looks really good. Very effective. If you would like to keep this video for any future builds then click subscribe as this puts it on your subscription list and will make it easier to find in the future. See you next time.